Yeah, Linda, the VA sets targets for how long it should take to get an appointment, but those targets are often missed. Now, U.S. Senator John Ossoff just introduced today a bill that would make those targets into law and require the VA to get this right. What they're doing now is not working. Georgia Senator John Ossoff telling me about this brand new bipartisan bill he is introducing in the U.S. Senate to require the Department of Veterans Affairs set and meet targets for the time it takes to get an appointment with VA doctors. There have been targets for years, but we know here in Atlanta and at other facilities, they are consistently not meeting those targets. And that's why this bill will put those targets into law, requiring by law that the VA set a comprehensive standard for wait times for referrals to care and for appointments. I checked wait times right now in Metro Atlanta for key specialties. It's 45 days for a new patient primary care appointment at the VA Medical Center, 71 days in Gwinnett, and 107 in Cobb. The wait for a pain medicine new patient appointment is 65 days, and for oncology, for a new cancer diagnosis, Channel 2 finds it's a 59-day wait here in Metro Atlanta. Just clinically, when you're talking about something like cancer and the impact on mental health of going weeks or months, recognizing you may have a cancer diagnosis, but being unable even to get in to see the doctor about it, imposes a huge burden. For years, Channel 2 Action News has reported on wait time concerns at the Atlanta VA. In 2021, we told you how a cancer patient died after waiting more than six months for a colonoscopy after an initial screening showed signs of colon cancer. In 2022, we uncovered how for many key specialties, wait times in Atlanta were significantly longer than the national average. Atlanta VA tells us in a statement, quote, we are constantly working to improve. And that means taking steps to provide veterans with high quality care as quickly as possible, whether that's at the VA or in the community. We appreciate the oversight of our congressional partners like Senator Ossoff. Now, if this bill becomes law, it would also require VA to make public what facilities are meeting and not meeting those targets, and it would rank VA facilities. This is bipartisan legislation introduced along with Florida Republican Rick Scott. Reporting live at the Atlanta VA Medical Center, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News.